In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the letter of St. James, chapter 1, verses 2 to 13. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not the man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation, but the rich in his humiliation, because as a flower of the field he will pass away. For no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat than it withers the grass, its flowers falls, and its beautiful appearance perishes. So the rich man also will fade away in his pursuits. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. This scripture reading from St. James' letter is very relevant as we undertake the great Lenten journey of the fast. He points out many things that we need to keep an eye on. First of all, he talks about the purpose of trials. Then the wisdom of of trials. And finally, he talks about temptations. The very last verse is important for us to remember. Not only because of we're in Lent, we're fasting, but also other occasions that may arise. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. God does not do anything bad. How often have you thought to yourself, why did God allow this to happen, or that to happen? Why did he allow that child to die, etc., etc.? God has his purpose, but he does not do anything bad. For God cannot be tempted by evil. So he would not be the one behind this. Satan is the one who is behind this. He is the one during this Lenten fast who will be sending you fast and thick the temptations 
of life. To stop, try and stop you from doing what is expected of you in prayer and fasting and almsgiving. What is the purpose then of all these trials? My brethren, St. James says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into the various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let the patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Patience. It produce, testing of your faith produces patience. How often do we want things yesterday, if not today? We need to be patient in all things that we do. Our faith is tested constantly. Our faith is put to the test constantly. And from that, we need to learn patience. It sounds easy, doesn't it? Trust me, it is not and you know that too, don't you? To have patience is not an easy thing. And then we read about the wisdom of trials. Why the trials? What's so good about them? If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all liberally, and without reproach, and it will be given to him. All we have to do is ask God for it, to give us the wisdom of what the trials are all about. Let him ask in faith, without doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Doubt is a terrible thing to have. I've spoken to many people who have doubts. Doubts about God. Does he really exist? They want to see proof. Black and white proof. So we must work on this the faith we need faith and doubts do not go together our faith needs to be strong and we are going to get many temptations not from God but from Satan we read in the scriptures even how Jesus Christ himself was tempted by the Satan in the desert when he went there for his 40 days and 40 nights. He was tempted too. So why should we be any different? If Jesus Christ, the Son of God, can be tempted or try to be tempted, why shouldn't we be any different? We will be tempted during this fast. We must be strong, strong in the faith to battle these temptations. Keep on going. And remember, God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. I want to share with you now a prayer, a daily prayer that we have during Lent. 
In our Lenten fast, we do battle against temptation and the spirit of evil. O Christ, our God, tempted in the wilderness, yet unyielding, support us Messenger video. so that armed with the weapon of the denial, we may have complete evil. We may conquer all evil. Give God the glory for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.